question is, do I take action to get my manifestation or do I not take action and I still get my manifestation? What should I do? Should I be doing techniques? Should I not be doing techniques? And what is going to be the outcome? You just are not sure. Well, we are going to be talking about that in this video today. So stay tuned. Hey guys, what is good? My name is Autumn. Thank you for coming back to my channel. It is my intention with this video and any video that I make, it is my intention to help strengthen you in your I am and to help you realize your manifestations. Now guys, for me, this right here is what really takes me the longest whenever I'm going through a little bit of a roadblock or what I would consider a roadblock block it is mainly because I am taking unnecessary action now the thing about taking action or no action it does not matter if you decide to take action or not what does matter is who are you being when you are taking the action if you know, I address the law of polarity in a lot of my videos for a very specific reason, but the law of polarity, there's always opposites to what you want. There's always another side to whatever it is that you want. And in knowing this, it is imperative, you guys, that you make the choice to decide from who you are being when you are deciding to take action or to not take action. This is the biggest thing here. So if you are identifying with someone who is in lack already, then you are taking action from a place of lack and that does not yield you the results that you want. No matter how hard you try to do a technique, no matter how hard you try to, to believe that you are, there's always a feeling of resistance behind it because because you feel like you have to do this thing in order to get your manifestation but if you are responding from a place of knowing your power knowing your personal power knowing your birthright that it is imperative that you get this regardless because that is who you are that is who you are being that is who you are you are i am you guys you are i am and you are in the all so you already have everything that you needed you never was born without anything that you've needed so within knowing that if you make a decision to make action or to take moves make moves from a place of already knowing that you have whatever it is that you want, that no matter if you have the thing or not, you still are your I am, or you still are comfortable with yourself. You still are comfortable with being who it is that you are. When you make those moves from that place, it is a sure thing that you're going to get your manifestation. It really just becomes, it comes across so natural. OK, within the law of polarity, there's one passage that I really enjoy in this. And it says all truths are half truths and they may be reconciled. So what is reconciliation to reconcile or a lot of people like to say forgiveness. You could also say forgiveness if you don't really like the word reconcile. But to reconcile is to be consistent with another or to get on the same page as another or to make peace with another, to stand in alignment with other, another, or this could be a path or this could be a person. So it is coming into agreement with the, the lifeline or coming into agreement with what you want, coming into agreement with who you are in your purest identity. This is the missing link, you guys. If you think that you can fill that with doing things from lacking, not knowing who you already are, there's no way that you can feel that fulfillment of being because you feel like you are chasing that fulfillment, that, that fulfillment, you're chasing fulfillment instead of knowing that you are fulfilled with, without that thing or with it just because of who you are as your I am, just because you are a God in human form, that you are created in the all and within this all. Remember, you guys, you can live, move, and have the identity that you want out of this life. So if you know that and come at this from a place of that, you know that it, it is a sure thing that you are getting your manifestation. Make no mistake about this, this is a personal choice to reconcile or to align yourself with whatever path you want to be on, with love, with joy, with fulfillment, with having whatever it is that you already already want, 
or being who it is that has that version, when you align yourself or reconcile yourself with that, it is a natural feeling. So regardless if you decide to make moves or not, you're going to do the moves that feel the most natural to you, that makes you feel like you're enjoying the embodiment of being who it is that has that thing that you want. I hope this is making sense, you guys. Neville Goddard has a few quotes that I want to bring to your attention is to passively surrender to appearances and bow before the evidence of facts is to confess that Christ is not yet born in you. Now, remember, you are already the I am. You are already connected to the all. You are a physical embodiment of God in human form. So your word is bond. Whatever you feel like you are, it is. Whatever you say I am to, it has no choice but to be. And your life is going to reflect whatever you say and what you deeply feel about yourself, whether you say it out loud or not. It has no choice but to express itself. God has no choice but to express itself. Imagination has no choice but to live itself out in the 3D not know who you already are you will bow to the 3d reality and feel like you have to work for everything that you have to make something happen that you have to do all these things to accomplish something instead of just knowing who you are and knowing that you can be whatever it is that you want to be at any given moment that it is not a process but just an acceptance and acceptance you guys it is you accepting that this is what you want to be if you want to be a millionaire it is a acceptance and a living that out as you are it is really just that simple you guys we make it hard and we make these techniques hard but it is not hard but if you don't already know who you are it is impossible for you to grasp this concept that you do not have to do anything to be who you already are okay Success is gained not by imitating the outer actions of the successful, but by right inner actions and inner talking. If we detach ourselves from a state and we may at any moment, the conditions and circumstances to which that union gave being vanished. I really like that last part because it shows you that it's so much in an instant that you can decide and make the choice because you are God, because you know who you are, because you are acting and making that decision to move there from already knowing who you are, not moving there from out of lack, that when you move in that assumption, knowing that you are God and that you can detach yourself from that state and immediately implant yourself into the state that makes you know and feel good, that that, that, that confirms your knowing that you are God. This is the key, you guys. This is the key. And another thing, because when you feel bad or when you feel like you have to try or when you feel like you got to do all these things to make it happen or to do something or to, to make money, whatever it is, it always feels bad or it always feels negative. I know for me, when I'm trying to do all these things, when I know in my heart that I'm feeling like uh, I have so much resistance towards, it is because I am placing expectation on the thoughts and the feelings. I'm making mountains out of molehills instead of just saying that, no, I know who I am and I know who I am by doing the thing that makes me feel good, that makes me feel like I'm God, that makes me, that confirms to me that my reality is what it it, I want it to be by doing the things that brings me joy, not doing any hard work, you guys. It is not hard work to be God, okay? It is not hard work to be God and somebody needs to hear that, okay? So at any moment, you have the choice. It doesn't matter how far you think you went down the road. You did not go far. It did. You did not, you know, mess this up, you guys. You did not mess this up. When you make a choice from deciding... And knowing that you are already the all, that you already have whatever it is that you want, it is natural for you to do the things that make you feel good and your actions line up to what it's going to be to bring you forth. Things will come into your life like people. Everybody's going to play its part like Neville says. 
everybody plays their part everybody and everything brings you to what it is that you want okay you say all right autumn well i also went through this negative thing and this negative thing helped you have to tell yourself it's all part of you getting to the bridge it is a part of the bridge it is a part of your you know manifestation unfolding it is already unfolding nothing stays the same you guys it is always unfolding and when you know this then you hold on to nothing you hold on you don't hold on to the feeling you don't hold on to that temporary like feeling that you were feeling 10 minutes before when you were beating yourself up no you can immediately move yourself into a state that you want to be in at any given time and everything else will vanish from that state as long as you can stay the more you can stay in that state of knowing that you are the all then the more your reality is going to conf confirm until it just shows you nothing else but what you want to see in your 3D. I hope you know this. I hope you know this because this is unnecessary resistance that we cause ourselves. And I'm telling you, I, I do this to myself a lot of the times as well. So you guys, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, everything you need to know is in the description box. Thank you for being here with me. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on my next video. Remember, imagination is on your side. And I am too.